A jury fine suspended Jefferson County District Attorney Charles Henderson guilty of perjury. That means he loses his elected position and could serve up to 10 years in prison. CBS 42 News reporter Lee Garner on that story for us today. She's live from the Criminal Justice Center. And Lee, how will a new Jefferson County District Attorney be appointed? Okay, Jim, so here's how it works. Danny Carr has been serving as district attorney pro tem. Now he'll be serving as interim district attorney. That is until Governor Kay Ivey appoints someone. And we were there as the verdict was read and as Danny Carr was sworn in. Danny Carr, I'm Danny Carr. Solemnly swear. By statute, swear. the Charles office of Jefferson Charles. County District Attorney became vacant as soon as Charles Henderson was convicted of perjury. We will have continuity in the office of District Attorney. Uh, even, even though we have had this uh, conviction happen today, uh, Mr. Carr, who has served, will continue to serve as interim District Attorney. Until the governor appoints. Meanwhile, according to his attorneys, Henderson is spending time with his family before his sentencing in the coming weeks. Jim Portman, and I respect the jury, respect the process uh, greatly. We got, we certainly got a right to, to disagree with them. It looked like to us, with the tears pouring from that jury, that there were several, if not a bunch of people, on there, and. Maybe at the end they gave up, but they did what they did. We respect it. Yeah. Henderson's legal team tells us they haven't decided how they'll proceed. But listen, look, we got a fair trial. We, there may be error, which we'll address at the appropriate time. But right now we're just thinking about it. And not surprisingly, the prosecution says they're very pleased with the outcome. Attorney General Marshall took a personal interest in this case. Uh, uh, he's been a DA. Uh, this individual uh, was going to be a DA. Uh, and if you're going to be in law enforcement, you've got to have uh, unquestioned integrity, uh, particularly in court. Henderson was indicted on that perjury charge just days before he was set to take office. He has been suspended without pay ever since. Of course, all of that changes today now that he has been convicted of a Class C felony. Reporting live in Birmingham, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.